what is going on guys in last video we have successfully created the new project and also we have created authentication page where we have login and sign up buttons in this video we are going to create login and sign up screens so that user can create the account and do the login in the application so let's get back to the project so we have this sign up screen and login screen let's go to sign up screen first and let's design the sign up screen so what i will do i'll go to sign up screen i'll remove this text let's start designing so first thing i will add is column so here column modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size give padding 32 dp from all side and vertical arrangement arrangement dot center horizontal alignment alignment dot center now inside this we will design so first thing i will just add a text hello there let's see how it looks i if i run now click on sign up you can see hello there so what i will do i will go to auth screen and i will copy this start your shopping journey i'll copy this one and paste it over here instead of this text so that i can write over here hello there font weight let's make it bold if i run now you can see hello there i don't want this to be at center so i'll remove center and modifier i will give modifier dot fill max width so that it will take full width and it won't be center so it has come to left now below this also i will add another text first i will add spacer modifier dot height 10 dp i'll copy this same text paste it and give the name give the text as create an account let's decrease the font size and family and weight we don't need here we want it as a small so create an account now below this i will add another banner i have over here if you see this is the login banner i'll add this in the sign up and login page so i'll copy this in the resource drawable i'll paste this that is login banner so same thing i have to do so let's go to auth screen and copy the image so this image composable i will copy this paste it over here i will copy this spacer as well give 20 dp and here banner login banner it will be content description you can write anything login banner and let's decrease the height let's make it 200 dp if i restart sign up you can see over here hello there create an account you can see over here image is looking good now below this i have to add the text field the text field will be email address name password so let's add spacer first 10 dp 20 dp and then i will add text field so we'll use outlined text field we require a value and on value change so we have to store the value so let's say our text field is email so we have to store it somewhere and whenever it is changed we have to change that also so for that we have to declare a variable so here in the sign up screen what i will do i will declare some variable that will be email so it will it will also hold the state so remember mutable state of empty string so by default it will be empty import get value import set value so this email we can use over here in the value it will be email and on value change in the brackets you can give email equals to whatever the value we get that is it so whatever we type in the keyboard it will come to email so if i run now you can see over here we have this input text field and we can write something so let's design this text field so for this what i will do first we'll put it on separate line and i'll add label label will be text and let's call it as email address and modifier 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 dot fill max width so it will take full width if i run now you can see it has taken the width and we have this label in the same way i need name also so let's copy this paste it below i need the name so let's create variable for name as well copy this paste it let's call it as name and another variable as password as well so we need password also so password so three variable we have declared email name and password so three input field we have to declare that is email second one is password second one is name so name it will be uh, let's say full name the label and copy this one more time let's call it as password and value will be password on value change will be password let's give a spacer as well copy this 
in between the text field let's give 10 dp spaces same way now if i run you can see email address full name and password so it is we can type as well so for the password you can see it is plain text for that what we can do in the password field we have visual transformation we can call it as password visual transformation that's it so it will do so when we type it will be hidden now below this we will add a button that will be login button so that button i will copy from this auth screen let's copy this button and paste it over here so on click we will not do anything for now and we'll give a spacer around 20 dp now let's see sign up so this will not be login button so it will be sign up button so let's write sign up over here so this is our simple and good looking sign up screen we have the text image and we have all the text input field and we can click on sign up as well so right now so here you can type email you can type full name and you can type password over here so in this way it will work now in the same way we will design login screen as well so right now we don't have anything in login screen so what we will do i'll copy all the content from this sign up screen if you copy from here everything i will copy and i'll paste it in login screen instead of this login i'll paste it so if i run now click on login so this is our login page but we have to change the content so what i will do first thing email is required password is required name is not required because in the login we don't require name we require only email and password let's remove this here instead of hello there we will write welcome back and here we will write sign in to your account and here login banner we will use same banner outline text field we require email id we don't require this name so i will remove this name and the spacer and password is required and here the button name will be login so it should work let's restart login page so you can see welcome back and email address and password and login button so in this way we have this auth screen we have this sign up screen so it is looking good so that's all for this video in next video we will actually implement login and sign up so that we can create the account using firebase authentication and we can log in using the firebase authentication so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye